is what would be a more perfected system for us is that when we have state representation and state communities is that we can establish some diplomatic relationship and by diplomatic I'm even saying uh, some procedure so that providing members choose to opt out of being recognised by their DMV number a certain way that they can still simply have some identification to stop police officers tasing them and arresting them without having to spend 10 minutes explaining who the hell they are and 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 that the system at the back end is already corrected so I, I'm I know you, you've made a comment and I don't know if you've got a question but what I would say is in all the in all the remedies I've seen so far there have been a number n not enough but a number that have 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 had remedy like you have able to be achieved but it's still too imperfect in that it still requires a huge amount of energy by you and by others sometimes I'm not saying for you it is I don't know all the detail of you but ideally when we talk about a passport or a license or anything that's a touch point into their system we're not asking for um, to be contract free or to be document free we're merely saying recognize our rights and give us what we need and correct the record and everyone's fine so um, thank you for your comments and I, I, I'm sure you could share more can I ask you if you do have the time it would be wonderful if you could share some of your knowledge as a specific topic on university.ucadia.info if, if you'd be prepared to do that well you have somebody on the call with you presently that I believe would assist in causing that to happen I neither have the equipment or the talent that apparently everybody else on the call has but I just I had a follow-on question and it's not to be disrespectful or our uh, or, or, uh, uncooperative I, I was wondering this is a non absentio veredicto QETM Sergio fascia article 1 section 2 government care of Jesus Christ administrator Isaiah 9 6 and I used I talked to the gentleman a number of different times I believe that I and I, I used the RCN number and he offered that it was fine to use that but I have a situation presently within a, a an estate a family is particularly um, uh, obstreperent considering uh, the nature and manner in which they treated my my uh, wife uh, of uh, long standing in a community I'm wondering could I or would I best uh, contact uh, Secretary of State Governor's Office State of Tennessee at all and get that documentation that was submitted at that time this is back in this is submitted back in 90 92 95 something like that as first in line first in time as named person ownership yeah you you've you've established a claim of right and this is a great example of, of, of another thing we don't want to, to miss here every time we we use a trust we establish a trust we establish a contract we establish a perfect a, a, a perfected claim of right no matter what it is it gives us that first in time first in line point remember however this you established one on the right to travel but they can consume that on a million different ways as you I'm sure well aware if they wanted to but so far you have shown honor and respect in the way you've behaved and that goes a long long way why the vast majority of people you will ever come in contact with especially in America are good and decent people and it doesn't matter whether they're in Congress whether they're in working in a court whether they're law enforcement whomever they are the vast majority of Americans are absolutely good and moral people it's just that the system stinks and that there are uh, unfortunately a few rotten eggs and they happen to be in some very key spots so I think if you remain in honor and you have an established claim of right 
that is an excellent thing to go and use. Yes. Okay? Thank, Thank you very much. You surely Thank have you. given a lot of us hope, and I appreciate all your efforts. We'll be in touch. Bless you. Okay. Good on you. Good on you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. All right. Uh, Frank, do you want to take another call, uh, question on the phone line? Yeah, look, um, and, and Terry, thank you, and thanks, everyone. I know we've gone over time, but I, I, I don't like the idea that we don't get through all the questions um, that people are asking. So let's say that it's, it's, uh, we, we give ourselves another 10 minutes, uh, and then we'll wrap up. So we'll answer a few more questions and uh, text questions, and we'll give it 10 more minutes. So far away. Yeah, please. Okay, great. Thank you, Frank. All right, we have a better way on the phone line. You're unmuted. Um, hi, um, Frank and Carolyn. Um, I just have a hi. follow-up question from the gentleman who was asking about someone to be, uh, I think, were released from prison and he maybe not have gotten that far in the EDP process. So if someone has gotten up to, let's say, the EDP pro or protest, are they in a position then to um, issue a great writ once? I know you're working on that, but... Yes, yeah. What I mean by perfecting the process, and this will be clear, very clear in the notes, you issue an EDP and it is a claim of right. And I'm using the words to, to again give it a context on, on what people may have been familiar with when they've read other people's material. It's a claim of right. You issue it and it's dishonoured. You then defend your claim of right with a protest. In, in, in that sense, you have perfected it because you have been prepared to defend it. If you're prepared to defend your rights and your claim of right, then you are ready to go forward with other things like a great writ or, you know, um, seeking to register an EIN or, or anything that is using your property. So, yes, that's what I meant. Okay. And one more quick question. If, um, if in doing the process of the um, EDPs, we have, you know, maybe made a mistake with the time conversion numbers, does that matter? Yep. No, it doesn't. I mean, uh, look, I, I listed, you know, most common mistakes up on the ecclesiastical deed notes and, and the, the most common is that people forget to update something. No, it doesn't because it's the intent. The intent is clear and unequivocal and you are dealing with people and you're dealing with lawyers especially that will jump on something like that. But I'm here to tell you that they might think in their system that a, an, an, an item is, is invalid. But the Bar Society itself states categorically that when one is reviewing any instrument, it is the intent of the instrument to be read and to overlook those things that are clearly mistakes of the form. That's their own rules. So that answers that question. As long as you don't repeat a mistake. <laughs> all right. Thank you. That's all. Okay. Thank you. All right. Great. Thank you. We have cosmic thoughts. On the phone, but you're unmuted. Yeah. Hello, Ryan? Yes, Frank, hello. Hi. I uh, thank you again for the calls, as always. I, I wanted to address um, something. I, I missed the first half hour of the call or so, but um, I guess um, my question, I, I'd like to to share something in the form of, I guess, a statement and um, ask and just see whether you agree with this i um i was thinking a lot very deeply uh last night about the whole victim mindset thing yep and i uh i reached this this you know final state of mind where it i had this phrase in my mind and i i felt like i could even feel it in another language i actually had to look it up in latin but I think we're all familiar with the phrase "Pater ignoce illis non enimsiunt quod faciunt." Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And I was just wondering if you had any response to that, because that, for me uh, personally, seems to be the most empowering thing to not feel the victimized mindset. Well, thank you. I actually have two comments really quickly. One, um, you pronounce uh, Latin um, brilliantly. Uh, I would love you uh, <laughs> to let us know some more. Uh, second, oh, I, I got it right. That's right. Uh, but the, uh, 
Yeah, not everyone knows that phrase in Latin. Um, what I'd say is, is we are trained and tricked from the moment we sit in front of a television and their tools. And I know that this comes across in the X-Files and everything. And, and, and it's like, I'll give you a classic example. The Protocols of Zion are a horrible, horrible document. But they are genuine. They are genuine. But what they did, in order to get them out in the public so that they could use them as a training tool, they brilliantly claimed them as a hoax. So it's a, it's a whole twisted mind thing. So kids learn about the Protocols of Zion at certain uh, um, Talmudic schools as a terrible thing, but then they're being trained. A bit like if I want to teach kids so at least one in five of them will end up being heroin addicts, what I do is show them a video on the danger of being of taking heroin, right? right. Because it, it, it trains the mind. So what I'm saying is that we, we, are, we are taught to react in certain ways and there's something empowering when you can look at at the reflexive image trained points and touch points that 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 we react to on a daily basis and can free yourself and your voice is clear concise brief and true and and when you when you know you can do that and you can see you can do that that's an empowering thing but so it's it's like you know I, I don't subscribe to a lot of different new age theories but I kind of like the idea of kinesiology and I have a lot of respect for a lot of things in terms of the sort of Reiki idea of, of people uh, opening up some of the layers of the onion and, and allowing in themselves to see how we become creatures of habit, become creatures of lara, it's of custom. So I'm really glad to hear that you feel that way and I, and I wish you well with everything you're doing. And your strength, our strength in their court is when we can stand there in respect and honour and speak truthfully without fear or favour, without the need of paper. When you're in that state of mind and you don't see yourself as a victim, you don't see yourself as better or worse, then, then that is a powerful, powerful state of mind and it will affect the way that you, your aura and your, your presence. So good luck with you. Good on you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, real quick from the chat, we have yep. a uh, question, some more questions over here. Some pretty good ones are coming through on the chat here. Uh, do you see any ramifications for sending out the executor letters in the past, uh, maybe a month or so ago, and now sending out an ecclesiastical deed poll? No, I, I think... And you know, when we talk about a mistake or we, you know, we apologize, look, it's not as if they give us a manual of competence or they give us a manual how to conduct ourselves. They don't. So we've got to learn all this, and often we learn by the, you know, the school of hard knocks. I don't begrudge anyone that has taken a, a number of U-turns to get to here. The issue is from this point on, you don't repeat the same behaviors that may have made things worse in the past. So if you are committing to a process of knowledge, empowerment, honesty, truth, ecclesiastical deed polls, then, then I, I hope that in that spirit you're not going to be mixing and matching saying, no, I'm, I'm here to make my own unique path and, and, and stuff what it says. So if you, if you approach this with a, a, an attitude of respect and sharing, then great. I don't think you have anything to fear. But uh, we all have made mistakes. We all make mistakes. It's just acknowledging that you make a line in the sand and don't repeat those same mistakes. Right. Uh, well, as living men and women, there are mistakes that can be made and the other side to that is they can always be corrected. Absolutely. And And this is the point. If we want to see... An example of perfect law, think of this. Remember I said that law and remedy go together? Think of this. 
if you have made a mistake 